Der Pig. Der Pig was a small toy pig made of the same material as a soft towel. He had little plastic beans in his tummy, which made him fun to throw. His squishy trotters were exactly the right size to wipe away a tear. When his owner, Jack, was very young, he fell asleep every night, sucking Derpig's ear. Derpig got his name because when Jack started to talk, he said Derpig instead of the pig. When new, Derpig had been salmony pink with shiny black plastic eyes, but Jack couldn't remember Derpig looking like that. Der Pig had surely always been as he was now, greyish and faded, with one ear stiff from all the sucking. Der Pig's eyes fell out, leaving tiny holes in his face for a while, but then Jack's mum, who was a nurse, sewed little buttons in place of the missing plastic beads. When Jack came home from nursery that afternoon, Der Pig was lying on the kitchen table wrapped up in a woolen scarf, waiting for Jack to take off the little bandage covering his eyes. Mum had even made Der Pig a set of medical notes. DP Jones, operation to attach buttons, surgeon, mum. After his eye operation, everyone started calling Der Pig DP for short. From the time he was two years old, Jack would never go to bed without DP, which often caused problems, because when bedtime came, DP was usually nowhere to be found. Sometimes it took mum and dad a long time to find DP, who turned up in all kinds of places, hiding inside one of dad's trainers or scrunched up in a flower pot. Why do you keep hiding him, Jack? Mum asked every time she found DP curled up in a kitchen drawer or hidden behind a sofa cushion. The answer was private, between Jack and DP. Jack knew DP liked cosy spaces where he could snuggle up and sleep. DP liked doing exactly the same things Jack did, crawling under bushes and into hidey holes and being thrown up in the air, Jack by his dad and DP by Jack. DP didn't mind getting dirty or being dropped accidentally in a puddle as long as he and Jack were having fun together.